And we'll all be checking out storm damage well into today, but it already looks like Boone County, the hardest spots, several places there had significant damage. Let's get the latest now as our team coverage continues with Lance Berry. Lance? Well, Catherine, the National Weather Service for now is calling that damage in Boone County a possible tornado path. And it includes eye opening destruction to share with you this morning, including the interstate rest stops in Florence. Take a look for yourself. Our photographer, Eric Clagis, was actually there as this all blew in. The winds were so strong, they actually blew two park semis onto their sides as the storm ripped through this morning around 1 15. The two trucks were at the northbound stop there on I 75 71, and one of the drivers was injured and as a result had to be hospitalized. At the same rest stop, you see those vending machines. They were actually toppled over, and a small shelter there was also blown. Meanwhile, on the other side of the interstate, southbound at the other stop there, a third semi also blown over. That driver, thankfully, not injured. Now, we can also share with you other reports of damage in Boone County this morning. According to the National Weather Service in Wilmington, includes reports of up to four mobile homes flipped off their foundations. Those are on the Verona-Florence line. A barn also blown off of its foundation and numerous trees down. And that is in Boone County alone. Coming up on Good Morning Tri-State, we're going to show you much more of that damage throughout the area. Now, you also mentioned those power outages. It should be pointed out there, about a third of those 32 outages you just spoke of, Catherine, are in the northern Kentucky area. So certainly the preliminary estimates uh, seem to suggest that northern Kentucky certainly got the worst of this this morning. Catherine.